What's your memories of that, Jason? In, in the sense of t- back then, when you when you did go make make the transition from amateur to, to pro. There's um there's kind of two two three memories to stick out in my mind. First of all, like fighting on Canelo Lara undercard the MGM Grand Las Vegas, like at your pro debut. Like I don't think there's many boxers out there that can ever say that that's where they made their pro debut. Like for me. It was it was unbelievable. I, I I fell in love with boxing whenever I saw Mark Antonio Barrera beat Prince the same Hamid. <laughs> yes. I stayed up to about I stayed up to about four or five in the morning and watched that fight. Barely could keep my eyes open watching it. But once the fight came on and I seen it, and you know it was the first time in my life I had the hairs kind of standing on me. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? It's the first exactly, and. You know, I remember that fight, watching Mark Antonio Barrera come out. So whenever you come out of the changing room, there's like an alleyway, and and you walk along, or the, not an alleyway, a corridor, and you walk along the corridor, and just before the curtain, up on the up on the the brick wall, there's a big massive uh, lion, and that's the MGM Grand's like slogan, the, the lion, and then MGM Grand, and all that. And I remember seeing that, like obviously when I was watching that fight. And then I remember saying, like, Jesus, there's that same Barrera walked out here. Like, yes, and you're, then, you're history. You're the monk's history. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then once the curtains opened and there was about 40, 50 people in the crowd yes. for my fight, it all kind of went, oh, Jesus, I'm not, I'm, not there, I'm not there yet. But, but you were starting, you were starting on, exactly, a, on, a, on a journey. Exactly.